How excited are you to explore Mexico City? So excited. Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I am here in Mexico City, which is my first destination here in Mexico. And I am reunited with Stone. If you don't know Stone, go check out my Hawaii series because he is in all of those videos. And if you do know Stone, then leave a like down below because we all love Stone. So we are starting off the day here in Zocalo, formerly known as La Plaza de la Constitución, which is the biggest plaza here in Mexico City. So we are gonna walk around a little bit and I will be showing you guys in this video all that Mexico City has to offer. So let's get started. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. So after a quick coffee, we have made it here to Plaza de Santo Domingo and it is just another beautiful plaza with a nice fountain and some nice old historical buildings in the background. So we're just going to stroll around here a little bit and enjoy. So we stopped over for some lunch at a little place on the side of the road and let me show you guys what we got. So what'd you get Stone? Tacos. Got some beef tacos with some fresh carrot juice um, and then I got a torta which is a sandwich with uh, chicken and some cheese and some pineapple. All right, so lunch is done. It was delicious. I tried to try something new today and ordered a soup of marachan or maruchan and unknowingly it ended up being instant noodles. So really funny, but hey, now you know. We are now at Palacio de Bellas Artes, which is one of the most famous plazas here in Mexico City. So we are gonna walk around and enjoy the beauty and enjoy the nature. Has it been raining or what? All right, so we are here in Palacio de Bellas Artes and we have come across a fountain. And for 100 pesos, which is about $5, Stone is going to walk through the fountain. So let's see it. <laughs> this is the life of a broke backpacker. Do anything for a couple bucks. Regrets? Feels nice. So right across the street from Palacio de Bellas Artes is a little Chinatown area with a really nice gate and some cool decorations. So we are going to walk around here a little bit, maybe grab another bite to eat, and just see what we can find. So we have made it to Plaza Garibaldi, otherwise known as Plaza of Mariachis because there are a lot of mariachis known to come to this plaza to perform. And we do see a couple at some of the restaurants, but this plaza is also really, really colorful. So really beautiful. Maybe gonna relax here a little bit and listen to some musica. Good morning, it is another beautiful day here in Mexico City and we are starting off the morning walking through Bosque de Chalpultepec, which is the Central Park here in Mexico City and it is huge. It is actually bigger than Central Park in New York just to put this into perspective a little bit. Um, so we are just gonna stroll around and take in the sights and the beautiful nature. I see a light in your eyes I 
So we just stumbled upon this huge tree here in the Central Park and it is massive. It is like bigger than the redwood trees in California, I feel like. So we've made it to the pond area here in the Central Park and it is really nice, just really nice scenery. And then on the other side you have a bunch of people riding some boats. And there's just a lot going on, a lot of vendors, a lot of birds, a lot of people dancing. So just gonna stroll around here and enjoy it. I gotta swim to the Isle of You. We don't wanna spend this night alone. Man, stop, I'm gonna walk you home. You'd feel the gravity of my heart. If I could, I would give you the most. I found a wild stone. So rare to see these in the wild stretching out their arms. So we are walking around Polanco neighborhood now, which is just north of the main Central Park here in Mexico City. And this neighborhood is known to be a little more upscale, have a lot of nice shopping and some cool little boutique cafes and restaurants. So we are just gonna walk around now, um, explore a little bit and soak in the beauty and the tranquility. So we just finished up in Polanco, ended up stumbling upon a really high-end mall which was nice to walk around a little bit and just take a break from the heat and enjoy some air conditioning. And now we have taken an Uber to Roma Norte to go to a famous place called El Moro Churreria which is a place to get churros here in Mexico. So we are going to dive in, they are pretty big, wow, they're huge, and going to enjoy them. So those were some great churros. They were nice and warm, made fresh when we ordered them. You get four large churros for about $1.50. And then for an extra 75 cents, you get the chocolate dip, which I would highly recommend. So we are now heading back to our Airbnb and we are gonna meet up with a friend for the night, but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning because tomorrow is our last full day here in Mexico City and we have a great day planned. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning not from Mexico City, but from San Miguel de Allende. Unfortunately, I came down with a little bit of a stomach bug the last couple days, so I didn't film anything and we had to move on to our next spot. I know I missed quite a couple things in Mexico City, so I will have to go back another time, but that's just what happens with travel sometimes. So I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for weekly travel vlogs. I'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego.